you guys on this episode i'm going to be walking you through how we land some monster fish using some bullets underwater while surrounded by some huge bull sharks don't go anywhere we are going to get into some red hot action that, that was a tank i like put my head in the water he's like five feet or like five inches from my face so you guys can see this spot we're at is absolutely loaded with bull sharks, uh, but with the bull sharks come cobia, and it's a high risk, high reward sort of deal, um, and if you do not know what you're doing, it is very dicey, um, but I will kind of go through and show you, um, I mean, the, the sharks are chill right now, you can kind of see them kind of just cruising by, um, you got to kind of watch your six, so this guy comes in a little hot, but I'm going to show you what happens when you don't use a power head. You can be successful but it gets a little dicey, and uh, the more clips I play, the kind of scarier it gets, and ultimately you'll see why we have to use the bullets underwater and use a nine millimeter power head. So in an ideal, this is what you would want to have happen, and you can see how buddy diving is so critical when you're diving this kind of sketchy, sharky water. Shot is put in the fish, obviously the sharks are coming after it, backup shots backup shots and then that kind of deters the sharks and you can hoist this fish straight up bring it to you and the sharks lay off but that doesn't happen all the time and it doesn't happen for that long until they start to figure out something's going on and they might get an easy meal oh yeah Yeah, boy! Oh, shit. Hey, you wanna just hop in? You wanna just hop in? We got him, Dad. You got him? Get him, get him, get him, get him. That's the ramp, yeah. Yeah! Woo! That's how we do it! Oh, I told you that was the one. That was the one. Yeah. Woo! Oh, awesome. baby! That's a good fish. Solid. Perfect. Solid, solid. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> I saw that I saw that guy coming, cruising through. I was like, hey, there's one so with, a, with, a, with a scud on mark head. on his head. I thought so, you were saying it was a shark. So it was like, dude. No, I was like, hey, uh, I was like, no, there's a, I was like, there's a, a, a scrape on his head. Like he's a, like he got wounded before. And I was like, he's a good size one. Dude, that's the one you got, man. Hell yeah. That's probably what, 30? Yeah, it's a 30, 35 -er. So we get back in the water and we're ready to put another fish in the box. Uh, I make a drop and I'm kind of being very selective. I'm only gonna shoot a fish if it is absolutely, gives me the most perfect shot. And, um, but kind of a foolish power, move on my is, part. Yeah, this is crazy. You. I tell myself, I was like, you know, I'm only gonna shoot it if it's like a perfect, easy layup shot. Um, and I learned my lesson. This is how things can go wrong when you're not using a power head. And um, I end up just feeding the sharks on this drop. But um, I do everything perfect, but just the sharks are so, so fired up and ready to eat. Made a great shot. I've tried to stone them, which means you do a brain shot and kill them immediately. But the sharks come in hot at Spencer, and I kind of yell at them, and that distracted me just enough to let the fish get a little too much slack. And the shark ate it and took my spear. You're absolutely right. At this point on, we decided power head only. The sharks are just getting way, way too far away. So now what a power head is, it is, it's a bullet attached to the tip of a spear and it's a nine millimeter bullet. So once the spear hits the fish, it detonates and shoots the bullet forward. Uh, Spencer was making a drop on that when we were ready to put a backup shot in the fish once he power headed it. Um, and he whiffed along the edge of the fish so the power head didn't go off and it really got the sharks riled up. Uh, you could see him coming in hot. Um, they're in all directions, uh, but the power head normally explodes and it kind of deters the sharks just a little bit. And we make another drop immediately. Scott makes a drop, same thing, whiff, and you see these sharks just coming in so hot. Um, that's why it's so important to make sure you take really good shots when you're using this power head. So from this point on, it is headshots only with the power head. And here's a prime example. 
we blast them with the 9 mil and then put a backup shot so we hold the fish and bring them up to the surface. Unicorn. Shot number two, coming in hot, making a drop. Same thing. I think this is either Scott, Spencer on point. Headshots only. And here comes the backup. Now that power head just falls right out, so it's a good thing you get that extra sh shaft in the fish to bring him to the surface to pull him away from the sharks. Yeah. But even still, that power head did deter the sharks, but they end up smelling that blood and start coming in hot, and we gotta get in the boat, get this fish secured before the sharks get too frisky and come in a little too close. So now here comes another headshot from the power head, but from my perspective. Now I'm rocking point on the power head, take my time, line up the shot, coming in hot, and just give them the shaft. And it almost, it's almost doesn't matter where you hit these fish. Uh, you want to aim for the heads, gill plate, but either way it should knock the fish out because it leaves just such a big boom and sonic wave in the water that it just lights out for the fish. Very humane way to get these fish. Now I got this clip labeled as the perfect power head scenario. Same thing. Scott goes down. We're a little deeper. He makes sure that I followed him all the way down. I think we're probably maybe... 20, 30 feet, uh, maybe a little deeper, but huge school of these cobia come in. We select the biggest one, headshot, here I come through, backup shot, and just hoist them up to the surface. Now you can see why doing this is so critical that you have buddy divers with you, because if you blast them with the power head, they're just going to sink right to the bottom and most likely get sharked. So here on this next dive, it you can see how it can get a little sketchy. We go really deep to get this cobia, and the power head hits them, does a lot of damage, but it doesn't lights out stone the fish. It kind of does for a second, that's why I put this backup shot in them, but things get a little dicey, and uh, you'll see here. See, I thought the fish was out, I take the shot, fish comes back to life and which is what you do not want to have happen so now I have a mid-body shot with my spear in them I'm going up I'm trying to maneuver the fish away from the sharks but at that point I'm thinking to myself you know what there's no way the fish is 100% gonna get sharked but for some miracle this fish kind of just swam nonchalantly with the sharks which is what you want to do and when we got to the surface we forced him straight up, got him to the boat. No sharks came in close to him, thank God. You wanna rip him up? He goes on fucking ripping. Get it up there. Grab both sides of the spear. Get him in it. Go. So now I say best for last, this is worst case scenario. Scott took a shot, Spencer put a backup shot. And same thing that happened before, fish goes crazy, but the end result is way worse. The fish comes to the surface, we horse them up, I grab the line, try to pull them up, but those sharks are on it. We get to the sur surface, it doesn't matter, the sharks are just all over them, and now they turn from the fish, they're so fired up that they turn on the divers. Now I'm hitting them with the back of the gun, it comes around, I'm only using the spear as a melee weapon just to keep them off me and things get super sketchy super fast but they finally chilled out now you guys i want you to check out another video where i do some bahama spear fishing definitely get into sharks up in the corner and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe like always like this video and i'll see you next week for another adventure damn it i'll try to get another shot in them but there's, there's no chance